House Pro offers an easy to use floor planning tool that helps clients visualize and get excited about your plans for their project. To access your 3D floor plan tool, open up your left hand navigation bar and select 3D floor plans from the drop down menu of Manage. Once you're in your 3D floor plan tool, you can interact with previously created floor plans by selecting the three dots and from the drop down, duplicating, renaming or editing that floor plan, otherwise clicking on the thumbnail to make edits to that floor plan. To add in a new one, click on add a floor plan and that'll give you a basic rectangle room for you to then start coming in and customising for your client. First thing you may want to do is resize your room. To do this, you can click on each wall and that'll highlight blue and you can then come in and drag your wall to resize it. Once you've resized your room, you can then come in and click on the draw walls pen in the top right hand corner and add in the new walls of this room. Once you've got your new walls in, you can then come in and add in your refined measurements. To do this, click into the dollhouse view to give you a 3D model, then select each wall you want to add in your exact measurements for. Once you're all set with your walls, you can then come in and start adding in your doors and your windows. To do this, flick along all the door options that we have. Once you've got the look you're after, select that door. It'll then add into the middle of your floor plan for you to then drag along the lines of the wall where exactly you want this to go. Once you've got your door in there, you can then flip and rotate where you want this to swing and then customise the dimensions if needed. Another thing you can do with your products is actually duplicate them so you can get multiple of the exact same measurements and refinements. Once you've got your doors in, you can hop then into your window options. All you need to do is click on the look that you're after and again it'll add into your room for you to then come in, drag it along the walls of where you want this to go as well as customise any dimensions including the distance from the floor. Another thing we can do is duplicate, so if we want multiple of these, we can add them into our room. And then once you've added in all of your doors, to visualise how this comes together, I would always recommend hopping back into the dollhouse view and having a quick look. Now that we've got that structural element down, what I'm going to do is hop into our products. So we've got a couple different types of categories you can select from. All you need to do is click into that category and it will give you your white placeholders for all of the products that are available. Once you click on a product, it will automatically add into your room for you to then come in, very similar to our doors and windows, customise those dimensions. You can go ahead and select as many products as you want, click into your room and once you've built it up and you're happy with it, I would always recommend again hopping back into Dollhouse and doing a final check. Another thing we can do with products is rotate. So once we do select a rendering, once we select the actual product, we can rotate which way it faces so we can angle products in the room to fit exactly where we want it to go. Another thing we can do with our room is render. So what I'm going to do is hop back into the Dollhouse view click on a couple of walls by clicking shift and click and then selecting a paint colour. So what I can do is render in my walls to show the client exactly what colour we're thinking as well as clicking on the floor to add in flooring. So whether that's wood finishes or carpet I can simply come in, select the one I'm after and it'll render in that room. What I'm going to do is hop into a floor plan that is a little bit more built up so we're skipping forward a few steps this is a room that we've created which has got rendering, product placement and everything we need for our client, more of a finished product. So again, first view we have is the dollhouse, the floor plan, sorry. We can then hop into dollhouse, have a look at the room and how it comes together. And then once we're happy with that, we can then walk into the walkthrough. And that's going to allow you to walk through the room as if you're inside it. Once you have created your floor plan and you're ready to send this to your client, you can go ahead and click on share in the top right hand corner and that's going to give you a clickable link that you can copy and send to your client for them to visualise everything that you have created for their project.